Ravens. Good Raven fam. Did y'all miss me? I missed y'all. Just get that straight off the back. I missed y'all. So let's talk about the Sammy Watkins. Let's get to it. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins said some good things. I mean, really, he just said a lot of good things, really. He actually made me change my mind, I thought, a little bit on a certain person, which I'm going to get about to. I'm going to get to it. But some of the key things Sammy Watkins said was um, he was excited. Um, one, you know, to be a Raven, but that's the general answers. But he also said that Keith Williams got, you know, his... Um, that's one of the reasons he came in to be a Raven. As well, he said, Greg Roman. I was like, I had to rewind it because I was looking at it on live, but they messed that up. So I had to, you know, go to the Raven site. But I was like, did he just say Greg? But yeah, he said Greg Roman. So when he said that, I was like, okay, Greg Roman. Or Keith, let me go with Keith Williams, his wide receiver guy, his coach. And then Greg Roman, his best year in the NFL was his offense coordinator. So I'm like, I can see that. I can understand that. And also, he said, and I was like, we, we Raven fans, well, some of us Ravens fans, we know this. But he said he wanted help prove to people in the league that Lamar can throw that thing. And I'm like, yes, but you know, you, Lamar's going to have haters for forever. I remember I seen, just off a little topic a little bit, but I remember I seen someone said about Kyler Murray, where they, they everybody's praising Kyler Murray, and Kyler Murray haven't even scratched the playoffs yet in his two years. But Lamar wasn't even starter his first year. Helped pretty much the team was not going to make the playoffs, carried them to the playoffs. Second year, his first full year as a starting quarterback, wins the MVP, goes to the playoffs. Third year, goes to the playoffs. But they still hating on him, but they still saying Kyler Murray is better. And Kyler Murray has D hop. Lamar don't have nowhere, nowhere near anybody like D hop. Anyway, just just wanted to get that much yes. But he also said that Keith will help the wide receivers for as their skill set for as getting open. And he's like, I'm gonna be straight up. When I looked at the film, they was not getting open. And I was like, ooh, burn, burn. Because it was true. Only person I can really say that was getting open that was wide receiver was Hollywood at times. But when he was open, like, he would either be, you know, doing a real, real far play. But, like, Lamar didn't have time to see him because the offense line was so bad. But then it was like Lamar also was handicapped as well because they were either double Mark Andrews, and then you know that safety is lingering over there where Hollywood is like, okay, only people I have left to throw to is Boykin and Willie Sneed. And Boykin, Boykin, I don't remember seeing Boykin get any separation ever. He don't really throw to him like that, but Boykin, he has all that speed, has the height, but he just doesn't get open. So that's one thing I'm hoping Keith Williams can really help him out. Because boy can have the tools. He just got to polish them. But also he said that one thing he liked about the Ravens was, and he told them, he said he told them this in the interview that he, he goes full throttle for it. 
practice, game, and then next thing you know, he's injured. So he's depending on Coach Harbs or whoever to play. Hey, 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 let's let's take a you no know, day off or let's take a break. Let's do like a little walkthrough or something. We don't need you to burn yourself out and next thing you know, you're injured during practice or a game or something because you went so hard throughout the whole week non-stop and that can happen that can happen everybody needs just a a day just a you know so hopefully that'll help him out for his injuries because i know everybody oh he's injured this he injured that dude he balls in the playoffs to me that's one of the main thing that i care for it's a playoff he chiefs run he made some critical catches you can't say he did not. He did. The tape is out there when they won that Super Bowl. He made some critical third down catches. And he can get that separation when he's healthy. But he's also said with him being a vet on the team, um, he can see, he can learn some things from Hollywood. And Hollywood can learn some things from him. They all can play, you know, play off of each other. Get that chemistry down. We know they from Florida. Like, come on now. We know how that is. But, and I believe this move can also help step up. You know, some, well, Dev, he does his thing. Porsche, I don't know what happened to Porsche. But, Boykin, like, it's, it's, come on now. You don't want to move. You, you was a starter, dude. You really... You didn't have a choice but to be a starter, and you're not taking that shot. It's a lot of people in the NFL for us wide receivers would hope to have that opportunity to not even be a first-round pick and you a starter, literally, like, right off the back. That right there, that was like a blessing in disguise, but some people just don't capitalize on their blessings. And what happens? Their blessings goes to the next person that will capitalize on their blessings but off that he as well he said he said a lot of good things it's just really about the Ravens organization we know that the Ravens organization is very good for me like uh Eric Guero just like uh, just a literally a Anquan Bowden um Eric came back and was like man this our Ravens organization is completely different from other organizations he was with it's just like a lot of people are saying that and I give credit to Ozzy, Eric DeCosta, um, the ownership, really just everybody in the front office, really, and the coaching. Everybody just, it's, it's just that feel, because even he said that it feels like a college atmosphere. Like, you can be yourself. You can look on Instagram and see what it's like Hollywood dancing, Big Baby dancing. For those who don't know Big Baby, is the Brandon Williams. But dancing, um... Uh, Justin Tucker doing his singing Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack is pretty much gone now. Well, I don't know what they're going to do about that because it's a member gone, but is there still a Wolf Pack with just two people? Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm off topic. But <sighs> it's just going to be very interesting. Did he, he really made me start thinking I'm still going to talk a little shade. You know, just a, just a little pettiness. Just a little pettiness toward Greg Roman because it's fun. It's all out of fun. And I'm like, I'm, hope, I'm hoping I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm being petty and the dude just beast. He actually started being creative. Because we didn't see that last year. But he said Greg Roman moves his bar receivers everywhere. And I'm thinking, we done brought in Keith Williams. We brought in a player that played on the Greg Roman that flourished. If he can stay 100% healthy and nothing really changes, I think Keith Williams will be the offense coordinator. But I know they're hoping that probably not going to happen. But just, I'm hoping that Keith Williams can. Teach them how to get open. We can, and us Raven fans, we can start seeing. Okay, you know, Keith Williams put his spice in 
Greg Roman's offense, they add that flavor to it. You know what I'm saying? But so y'all tell me what y'all think. I know, I know some people gonna be like, ah, he gonna be hurt for five games. Well, it's 17 games now. So consider it as a vacation. Everybody stay safe.